positive action to achieve positive results in so far as betterment of the condition under which these people were forced to live and die and work. Uriah Butler was the icon who led the labor riots of 1937 and was the catalyst for the much needed change in working conditions in Trinidad and Tobago, as during that time many working class citizens were frustrated. On June 19, 1937, a major change came as Butler addressed workers and a police inspector was fatally shot while a corporal was burned to death. The police, the police, they search here and there. Sergeants and majors, they tore at the hair. In kitchens, in attics, in country and town. But still the elusive butler, he couldn't be found. Butler was arrested and served two years in jail. He was rearrested at the start of World War II for being a security risk under the defense regulations. He spent six years on Nelson Island. When independence came around in 1962, Butler's contribution as a labor leader took on extraordinary significance. As a result, in 1970, he was decorated with the country's highest award, the Trinity Cross. But the greatest tribute came in 1947, when the anniversary of the oil field riots was declared on June 19th as an annual national holiday, Labor Day. Butler died in February 1977.